Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Um, I had a question that came up from a viewer regarding um, now that the debt ceiling was raised, will there be, will the student loan debt forgiveness go forward? I guess the case is currently in front of the Supreme Court and I'm trying to decide if, uh, if this will go through. So as I was shuffling the cards initially, the, uh, the Six of Wands, the victory card popped up. So I think ultimately the answer is yes. Does that mean it will happen uh, in the near term? I don't know. We'll throw cards on it and find out if it's going to happen in the near term. But will the student loan debt forgiveness go through? Right now it's being tied up. It was tied up with the debt ceiling argument. It's now tied up with... Um, with the Supreme Court, and it'll probably be tied up with the budget. So ultimately, again, I see a victory with it. It looks like it's tied up for the moment. And there's Biden trying to get this thing through. He's trying to get it untied to provide some relief to students everywhere. You know, um, knock on wood, count my blessings. My daughter graduates uh, college uh, in June. And between um, the grants that she uh, had and contribution from grandparents, as well as uh, myself, uh, she's going to come out of uh, college debt free, which for a lot of students, that's just an amazing, that's an amazing accomplishment to come out of, get your four year degree and not own, not owe anything in student debt, you know, count our blessings and I hope she counts her blessings because that's just an amazing situation for her to be in. Because you don't have that anchoring you and dragging you down as she goes on with her further career choices. In the past, this is describing <laughs> college debt. You come out of college and you've got this huge debt. This burden that you have to carry for a long time to get it paid off. There's predatory lending, high interest rates. They just, it's, it's, a, it's a mess. And... I think Biden understands that and he wants to unburden people, especially young people, with that. And if the federal government can help, that helps. It helps the economy. It, it absolutely helps the economy um, going forward. Um, current situation is the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, so, you know, you've got this concept of um, student debt relief and how... Relieving that burden helps everybody. It, 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 it really does help everybody. Now, some people get upset because, you know, I paid my way through school and I had student debt. Well, yeah, okay. And if somebody, if the government came in and offered to alleviate $20,000 or some percentage of your student debt, if you qualified, what, how would you have felt? What kind of relief would you have felt? And why would you want to deny that relief to anyone else? Just because it wasn't offered to you. You know, it, again, there's that mindset of, um, you can have two mindsets. You can say, what's in it? What about me? Or what about them? Take the what about them approach. It makes life a whole lot easier. At least as far as empathy goes. Current situation is just, it's, it's a nightmare. It's a... Uh, it's a nightmare situation. Again, I think this is more for the people that are dealing with the debt. You know, it keeps you up at night. How am I going to, how am I going to live? How am I going to uh, pay this off? Well, I'll never be able to own a house. I'll never, you know, I'll be lucky if I own a car, especially when car prices have gone up. You know, it's just, it's the type of thing that you just can't get out from underneath this thing. It's just such a handicap and a burden. What's the lesson to be learned? You know, working together. When you graduate, it should be a celebration. <laughs> Not a burden. It, it shouldn't be this. It should be this. We should be celebrating people getting educated. We should celebrate that. You no, know, and hopefully what this leads to is free universities. You know what? Why not? Why not have free universities? Why not, you know, encourage people to go to school and become educated and well-rounded? with this and so as opposed to burden with all this money uh, obviously i'm i'm a naive libtard what the hell do i know but that sounds pretty idyllic and we wouldn't be the first country to do it outcome knight of wands 
Um, <clears throat> this is this is this is a hard situation that we're dealing with right now, but ultimately, when the deal gets done, it's going to be celebrated, and there's going to be a path forward to getting it. Um, I think. Let's see. And what's underneath it? The Page of Cups. Um, will it get through the Supreme Court? Probably not this Supreme Court. Because they're just... They're, they're just that way. So you you might have to start getting creative with, uh, with the student loan debt. Now, can Biden... I think... I thought Biden uh, issued an executive order on that one. And that's what this is about. I'm sorry. I didn't do my research beforehand on this one. But it sounds like there will be an actionable plan... Uh, getting out and it's going to help young people with this one let me just ask briefly is will the supreme court accept to reject the student loan debt or are they just to kick it back or are they going to punt what's the supreme court going to do with this again ultimately i did pull the six of wands it fell out as i was shuffling so yes it's going to go through it truly is a matter of when if it doesn't happen uh with this summer or this budget after the next election cycle, I, I feel very strongly that that will be an agenda item that gets through. It will have to wait its turn. You know, codifying Roe, uh, voter rights acts, you know, <laughs> getting rid of gerrymandering, you know, that kind of thing to protect your democracy would be the priority. And then this would be kind of like those secondary targets. Okay, is the Supreme Court going to rule... Uh, in favor of allowing the government to uh, reject, there's that um, that hostage card again. I think I think the Supreme Court isn't. I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to uh, they're going to rule against it. They're delusional. They're not they're not looking at everything. They're they're only looking at the money. They're not looking at the the big picture here. Um, they're going to make their ruling. You know. They're gonna look, look at it like, oh, you went to college. You knew the you knew the risks. Now live with your risks. It's a burden. It's a burden that you bore. You chose to bear it, and you know you graduated. You should be you should be happy that you graduated. Uh, but there's a Queen of Cups underneath it. Um, but I don't think this is dead and buried. Okay. I think okay so. Oh, they're not looking at the whole thing. They're only looking at what they want to look at. And this could be, basically, I see this as a six to three vote. Six against it, three supporting it. They'll, they'll go along uh, party ideal lines. And, um, you know, maybe maybe you'll get, maybe it'd be five, four. Maybe you get one of the female justices swapping over it. But I don't think this is dead and buried. The, they're just going to put a lid on it for a while and it's going to come back up again. I think that's what this is saying is, okay, fine, six to three. How long will the court be six to three before it's five, four Democrats? So right now it's, it's a burden that they just feel that people need to bear. You made that choice, celebrate your choices. But I think this is also saying that there is going to be a victory. It's going to come. It's just not now. We're just going to have to bide our time on that one. So for those suffering from this, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Um, do what you can. I think relief will be coming. This administration and the progressives haven't forgotten about you. And it's just a setback from people that just don't care. I'm not saying they don't care about others. They have this mindset of what about me? I didn't get mine when that happened, so they shouldn't get theirs. And... What's happening is more and more of the country is much more of the mindset of what about them? It's not fair to them. And I think that's kind of the seven of cups for um, some baby boomers. Uh, and a lot of my uh, viewers are baby boomers. And I want you to think about this for a second. Think about what your life was like as a teenager or a young person growing up. All the opportunities that were there. Yeah, you had the Vietnam War and there was a lot of crazy. You know, Kennedy got assassinated. You had to deal with Nixon and the impeachments and all that stuff. But generally speaking, life was pretty darn good in the 60s and early 70s. There was a lot of opportunity there that doesn't exist for the kids today. Can you imagine coming out of 
college with the crushing debt that these folks have. Look at your grandkids. Look at your kids. Look at your grandkids. And ask yourself, how? look at the housing prices. Ask yourself, how would they ever be able to afford a house in the markets? Look at the rental prices. How would they even be able to afford the rent? You know, and it, it's heartbreaking to see the opportunities that we had that they don't. And it's our responsibility to give them that opportunity to have the life that we had, if not a better one than we had. And we had it pretty darn good. What can we do to make it easier on, and it's not go, you know, Gen Z's and millennials are lazy. No, they're not. They're just in a different environment and it's crushing to them. It's soul crushing to them. Let's take that, we can lift that burden. We can make it easier on them and let them shine. Okay, sorry, I'll get off my uh, get off my soapbox here. Thank you everybody for watching this one. Thank you to all my subscribers and the new subscribers who've come into the channel. Thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one.